much better. Oh, hey, you're a pink sheep. Ah, oh, I've seen one of you before, but I didn't expect to see any more, at least not for a while. You, you're so rare. Well, welcome, welcome. Say, look, there's this new thing in beta 1.7. Have you seen them? They're called shears. Do you want to have a go? All right, let's do it. Oh, wow, thank you. Four blocks of pink wool. I know exactly what I'm going to do with these. Now, how does it go again? Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Well, what do you reckon? Huh? Huh? I even had enough left over for matching earmuffs. Ah. It's nice to have a snuggly new jumper, but I feel really bad because it's starting to get cold and sheep can't even grow their own fleeces back yet. Notch, what were you thinking? Hmm. I suppose I'd better do the right thing. I'm sorry, little sheep. I didn't even think that you can't grow your fleece back yet. Here, I want you to take this. Have this jumper I knitted. Come on now, just get your legs in there and you... Yeah, yeah, that's better. Oh, now I would call that an improvement. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode, whoa, of <laughs> Minecraft The Journey with me, Bugman CX. Oh, I'm a little bit out of sorts. You might be able to hear from my voice that uh, it sounds a little different and that is because I have had a cold for the last week and it's been pretty horrendous. And it's one of those colds which kind of does weird things to your voice, you know, like, <clears throat> like this, ready? Oh, baby. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, it's made it all deep and weird, so please bear with me as we get through this episode today. In today's episode, I want to continue exploring the features in Beta 1.7, I want to go back and revisit the pistons, I want to have a bit of a second look at the shears, so we've got plenty to get on with today. Now if you watched the world tour in episode 100, then you would probably remember this thing, and I had all of my special guests on the server and we tried to build a piston block duplicating machine, but unfortunately... Things didn't quite go to plan. Now, I did test that all out for that episode, and it did work just fine in my test world and even in the multiplayer test world that I had, so I have no idea what we did wrong. Maybe you can let me know. But I want to revisit this and see if we can get it working in this world. So we've got a bit of the template laid out here. What you basically need is you need a clock, which we have over here with these repeaters. Uh, notice how they're facing in different directions like this so that the signal goes round and round and round and round like this. And the signal goes off to this direction where there's another repeater and here we'll have a regular piston and it also goes off in this direction over here to this bright green square where we'll have a sticky piston. This red block here is where you place the block that you want to have duplicated and let me see if I can explain what happens. So if we get our sticky piston and put it right here and get our, uh, we've got it already, regular piston and put it right here. Now we need to get a block that we want to duplicate. Let's say a block of diamond because, you know, we're not really out here to duplicate anything important, just some crummy old diamond blocks, right? Now what will happen is that the timing on this clock here, in fact on this whole redstone contraption, is just right so that when this piston, when the sticky piston pushes this block out into this square here, at the very same moment this piston will push the same block into this space here while this one is then retracting it back. and something miscalculates in the game, the push and the pull happens at precisely the same game tick. And because of that, the block both retracts and pushes at the same time, a little bit like Schrodinger's block, right? It's in two places at once or two states at the very same time. So that will result in this piston, uh, in this block rather, being duplicated and duplicated and duplicated and duplicated. So let's see if we can get this working. 
Now, here are some of the timings. This repeater here needs to be set to this delay, and these are just fine as they are. Now, what we need to do is get a clock started. So we're going to use these two pieces of redstone here to do that. If I just nab that torch, which I now need to put on my hotbar, uh, there are some quirks in... Oh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Um, there are some quirks in early Minecraft redstone. So if I power this up, you can see things started happening over there and this whole circuit now has power. And if I remove this torch, um, it still has power. Where's it getting the power from? I don't know. I suspect what's happening is that there is power going back back this way through the circuit or something and, and it's just continuously powering and staying on an on state. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a mystery. Anyway, what we can do now is we'll just get a bit of uh, redstone dust here. And if we just quickly swap this or this piece of redstone dust, then that'll cause this thing to go into a clock. Are you ready? Have a look. It didn't work. There we go. On the second attempt, it worked. Now, over here, let's just get rid of you. That is loud. <laughs> Over here, you can see what's happening. We have a sticky piston constantly pushing a block into this space. And then we have this piston here pushing blocks forward in this direction. So if we take our diamond block and place it down here, let's see what happens. We got a duplicated diamond block. Did you see that? Let's check it out on the slow-mo cam. Look at that, just as the sticky piston retracts, the other piston pushes the block at exactly the same time and it kinda, it's in two places at once at the same time. But unfortunately, this piston also, let me just, let me just, oh, 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 so loud. <laughs> uh, we also broke this piston. I'm not sure why this piston breaks, but this happens to be some sort of bug and it gets fixed in Minecraft beta 1.7 underscore zero one. And there are only one or two minor bugs fixed in that version. So I'm gonna skip ahead to it right now. And then we're gonna try this machine again and see if we can get it working the way it's meant to work. And now we're back, but this time in beta 1.7 underscore zero one. And what's interesting about 1.7 underscore zero one is that there have always been two types of version naming schemes that Notch used whenever he put out releases. This version was put out on the same day as beta 1.7, so maybe that's why he chose to use the underscore zero one instead of calling it beta 1.7.1. But what is interesting is that there is no version 1.7.1. The next version that comes out will be 1.7.2. So I guess underscore zero one and point one could be used interchangeably depending on the size of the update or something like that. But anyway, here we are. So let's clear up this mess and see if we can put the machine back together. I'm really keen to see what happens now. So we'll put that piston back. And it was interesting because in the previous version, that piston broke as soon as that bug happened. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this version. Let's, let's break the clock break put everything back the way that it should be right okay and we're going to try this again we need to get the redstone torch to provide the power break the power and we're still powered now we need to create the clock there we go we have a noisy clock um now let's try this this time with a, a block of lapis let's see what happens oh i tried it but the piston head sometimes gets in the way i'll try again there we go okay look at that it's just like a piston tape and it just keeps going and going and going and that thing keeps duplicating over and over and over. And we have just reached the piston, uh, the, the piston, <laughs> the piston push limit, which happens to be 12. That's right here. So let's see what happens if we just break one of these in the middle. Yep. Look at that. We got a drop. So the block is actually real. And if I keep doing this, I can just keep breaking blocks infinitely and I get more and more blocks of lapis over and over again. So this thing is an amazing duplication machine. 
I've been over at the house and I've been having a bit of a rummage through the chests because I want to use this machine to duplicate some blocks that are just really annoying to gather up in the world and have a bit of an experiment and see what is possible with this machine. So I've got this assortment of blocks here and there might be some others that I try later, but a lot of these blocks are just really, really annoying to get or really, really annoying to craft. So let's get ready. Let's um start up this machine. Let's get the torch, power it up, break the torch, and do the swappy swap. Now, uh, in my ears, that's extremely loud, so we're going to turn the sound right down. I have been fixing that in the edit, but this is just easier for me. Now, let's head over here and try our first block. So the first block we're going to try is the wood, because, I mean, it's easy to grow wood, but this I could just sit here and chop it, right? Yeah. Look at that, I could just sit down the end and just keep chopping and chopping and just chop, chop, chop like that and just get more, loads and loads of wood. All right, how are we gonna do this? Um, I don't wanna break this every time, so can I, hmm, I might have to. Experiment number two, this time the powered rail. This one is gonna be very interesting, so Oh, yep, 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 look at that. I'm able to duplicate the rail. It's like a railway line building itself. This is fantastic. So again, just like before, I could just literally sit here and just break rail like this and just keep putting more and more in my inventory. Whoops. Oh, 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 <laughs> that's even better because of course the rail cannot exist on an air block. So I can just literally sit here and collect rail. Wow. All right, all right, I promise to limit myself at a stack. Bookshelves. Now, if I'm able to duplicate bookshelves, I'm not actually able to pick these up as bookshelves, but if I do use my axe and just come down to the end here, this is an infinite... Oh, no, it's not, because they don't drop books yet. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, can I pick up the block like this? No, I don't think so. I think I'm... Nope, nope. Well, this one's a bust. Now the TNT, again, annoying to craft because you've got to have the sand and the gunpowder, but if I place it here, sure enough, I can just get as much as I want. And look, I can just stand here and hold the mouse like this and get an unlimited supply. Oh, well, ooh, <laughs> I was a bit nervous there, but of course you can't set it off by punching it anymore. It has to be redstone powered, so this is fantastic. Now this one had me very curious. Can I use the piston duping machine to duplicate a piston? Okay, let's give this a shot. Oh, yes I can. These things are still very annoying to craft. I mean, the ingredients aren't really very expensive, just the recipe's really annoying. So, hmm, hmm, look, I got 12 more free ones. Glowstone. I'm really keen to see what happens here because with this one, every time I break it, it should break down into glowstone dust. And so now we effectively have a glowstone dust machine. Oh, baby. I'm definitely going to, you know, keep a few of these because they're just so tedious to collect in that treacherous nether. I mean, can you blame me? Pumpkins. All right, I thought pumpkins would be interesting because you can currently only find them in the wild, but look at that. They definitely don't duplicate despite being a full block. And I guess this makes sense because in the future we use pistons to break pumpkins uh, in pumpkin farms. So I really should have thought of that. But I had a feeling that it might have worked differently in the early versions. I guess not. Leaves. Now, I suspect like the pumpkin, these are just going to break. But I thought it would be interesting to see what happens anyway. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it just disappeared like that in one frame. Another tedious block to collect. It's not too bad, but it is just part of that nether, you know? So I thought I'd see what happens with soul sand. And sure enough, oh, I can't get it while it's on the move. But again, down at the end here, I can just keep going yoink and get myself a stack or so of lovely, lovely soul sand. A chest. Now, a chest is treated differently by the game. It's treated as a tile entity, and that's because it's a special block that you can interact with, and it stores uh, blocks and items in it. So let's see what happens when we put it right here. Uh, we just jam up the whole machine. Okay, so <laughs> I guess that means that it's not possible for a piston to push a chest, and when it tries to, it, it's just blocked. So 
That one. That one is a bust. Sand? Of course, sand. I mean, I had no doubts that I would be able to duplicate sand. But again, I mean, I can go to the desert and get thousands and thousands of sand blocks. Or I could just stand here for a little bit and get myself a couple of cheaty stacks. Slabs, they are currently my least favorite block because look, I use them everywhere, but they're so expensive to craft. You have to mine stone and get cobblestone, then smelt the cobblestone back to stone, then use three of these things just to get three slabs and oh, all that fuel you use, oh, it's awful. Ever since Notch changed the recipe, it's been awful. Anyway, let's see what happens. Do they dupe? Yes, they do. Ah, and have a look at that. You can see the piston head disappears momentarily as it does the duplication. I guess we can see that because it's a half high block, so we've got more line of sight there. But if I pop down here, I can just mine these like regular stone. Oh, oh, I can build up my supplies again. You know, who cares about diamonds? If there's anything I'm going to use this duplicating machine for, it is this. Well, there's only a couple of more blocks that I wanted to try today, and one of them is this. This is the moss stone block. If I place it down here, yes, I am able to create moss stone blocks. Now, the only way to get this block at the moment is by finding a dungeon and then tearing it out of the dungeon wall, because that's the only place in the world that this exists, and it's not currently craftable. So right now I can build up my supplies of this a little bit, and then I should be able to use it a bit more liberally in some future builds, who knows. I'll just get a couple of stacks and hang on to them. The last one I wanted to try out today was glass, and I already know what's going to happen here. Let me predict the future. The piston is going to be able to duplicate the glass, but of course, I have no way of picking up the glass. I was just literally curious to see what happens when it duplicates. And have a look at the texture as it slides along. You can actually see the outline all the way through the glass block if you have a look at the blocks to the left of where I'm breaking it. Yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, nerdy stuff aside, I think that's all of the duplicating that we're going to be doing for today. But that was definitely very fun. And rest assured, I will not exploit this machine to the nth degree. You know, I'm not going to have chests upon chests of diamond blocks or anything. Whenever it comes to these particular mechanics in the game, they were introduced even if they weren't intended. So I always think that it's interesting to explore them and use them for a little bit as players would have back in the day. So I really won't use this beyond creating a handful of stacks of some of the things that I need, uh, with the exception maybe of the slabs. But, you know, yeah, this functionality won't stay in the game forever. So we'll use it for a little bit while it's here. There's just a couple of other things that I do want to test out with the pistons. There are some weird blocks in this game, and this is the first time the pistons have been introduced, so I wonder what happens. Was every contingency thought of? I know that it's not possible to push an obsidian block with a piston, so for example, if I just take a piston and let's put it up against this obsidian block. Now, if I take a torch, this should power it, but it cannot push the obsidian block. And that is just a game mechanic that was added to give you, I think, a block to prevent the pistons from being able to be pushed. Not sure exactly, but you definitely can't push it. But I am really curious to see what happens if we do the same thing. Ooh, there we go. Okay, it's up higher than I thought. With a nether portal portal block. Let's see what happens. No, it can't be pushed. Hmm, you don't think... No, I didn't think so. Well, that ought to just about do it for today. I've had a lot of fun exploring the piston duplicating machine, and I hope you have too. If you have any ideas about how I can use the piston, what sort of farms I should use it for, what sort of contraptions I might be able to build, then let me know, or maybe send me a link to one of those YouTube videos that shows off some of those contraptions. Who knows? The best place to do that is in my Discord, so feel free to check out the description box below and click the link and join me there and say hello. Anyway, I want to say a huge thank you to my amazing patrons for supporting me. You are all amazing. Thank you very much.
And of course, thank you to you for putting up with my voice today. Hopefully it'll be back to normal for the next episode. But until then, this has been Bugman CX. You've been watching Minecraft The Journey. Bye-bye. <laughs>